another episode for you guys who use the Gmail interface this week. And this week I'm going to show you how to send your Gmail to Evernote using the Evernote Web Clipper. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Evernote series and in this week's episode I'm going to show you what happens when you use the Evernote Web Clipper rather than the Evernote add-on in Gmail. Because I got so many comments about this, people telling me that the Evernote Web Clipper is actually better than the add-on and 50% of the time you are right. But what I realized was all the Chrome users were telling me how slow the add-on is and how fast the Evernote Web Clipper is, but the Safari users actually find the add-on much better. Why is this? Well, there's a very simple reason and I'm going to show you that in this week's episode. But to be perfectly honest, if you are using the Gmail Web, if you are using Gmail, web interface then I would strongly recommend based on my research over the last two weeks into this is that I would strongly recommend that you actually use the web clipper because it actually is much better but that's for you Chrome users for you Safari users like myself it's useless okay I'll show you why let's go into Evernote now or shall I say let's go into Gmail now and I'll show you how that is before I do that though I would like to say if you do get any value from this video then please hit that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I would consider it to be a huge thank you if you would subscribe to my channel. Okay let's go into Gmail now and I will show you the differences between the Safari Evernote Web Clipper and the Chrome Evernote Web Clipper. Okay so first up what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you using how to send your email to Evernote using just the simple Evernote web clipper. Now the reason why I'm going to show you this, I'm going to show you this in two ways. The first one is actually from Safari which is the browser that I use pretty much all the time. This is my main browser. Now I do use Chrome occasionally but really that has its own specific needs. For example when I'm listening to Pete Tong on BBC Radio 1 or I'm listening to Annie Mac <coughs> again on BBC Radio 1 on a weekend, that's what I use Chrome for because I'm forever in and out of Safari all day and I'm closing windows and then I lose my place in the radio show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here and we're going to, this is a, something that just came in uh, yesterday, so just a normal newsletter. And what I'm going to do is I want to say I want to share this with, save this to my Evernote. So I'm going to click on the Evernote Web Clipper. Now the beauty of the web, Evernote Web Clipper is it actually uh, recognizes that you are in an email and I'm going to hit save. Now the, as you can see nothing has come up in the window. Um, if I click on screenshot I can now choose that but that's a screenshot is just a photo. I don't really want to show that. What I want is the email but it doesn't in Safari it doesn't work. Now if I clip that as I did when I was trying to test this that's going to save and it's gone to uh, Evernote now and or it's clipping and it's going but it's undefined I know it's not going to show me anything when it gets there so this is the reason so I know a lot of people were commenting uh, on my video from last week saying well this new add-on is not useful because it does you know the web clipper is much better well it is much better if you're a Chrome user because I'm going to show you that now so if you're in Chrome things are much different. So I'm going to open this email up now because I'm in my Chrome. As you see, I have my BBC Radio 1 up here um, and that's essentially what I'm using it for. The Future FM is to listen to David Getter uh, and his weekly show. So really, I'm not using uh, my Chrome very often. I, I don't know why. I've always, I'm just a Safari user. But anyway, let's say I want to use my uh, Evernote Web Clipper here. So I'm going to click up here. I'm going to load the web clipper. Now this is much different, although it's slow in my Chrome, not necessarily yours. Now you'll see that I've actually got it here. So if you're a Chrome user and you want to send this over to your uh, Evernote, 
then what you need to do is make sure you're selecting this here because you want to be able to click back to the actual email. What I'm going to do is this is coming in as content. I don't want to do that. I'm going to send that to my inbox, which is down there. And I don't want any tags. There's no tags. And I'm going to save the clip. So that's now going to send that email over to Evernote. So let's go over to Evernote now and see what happened with both those two uh, emails, the same email, but the two browsers that I've sent it. I think a lot of people, possibly the Chrome users out there, think thought that the add-on is useless because it, it's slower and it doesn't give you the same options. And that's actually very true. But the thing that I found was that for Safari users like myself, and I'm an iOS user, so I don't have Chrome on my on my phone. I just use the Safari because it's just built in. So let's just give my Evernote a sync. So I just go. Uh, I'm going to sync my Evernote. It's syncing now. And first one's come in is the undefined one has come in. As you can see, absolutely nothing there. Open conversation in Gmail though, and it opens up the conversation. So it actually does do what it's supposed to do but I have no reference to the actual email so that was to me just not very helpful and so I need to it's still coming in from Chrome and now it's come in from Chrome so we click on that one so now the one that I sent in from Chrome has actually come in and that's really cool and I believe that if there was a, a thread to this it would also have brought in the thread or given me the option to bring in the thread and it gives me a lot more details than the actual add-on does and again I can open the conversation in Gmail using that the function here so to me if I was a Chrome user sure I would use the Evernote web clipper because that's what would happen but there are a lot of people out there who use Safari uh, me for example that don't find this useful now to be perfectly honest I don't really like the Gmail interface on the web anyway so I'm not a big user of it but for those of you who do use Gmail then your options are pretty limited. You'd need to be using Gmail in Chrome. And to be fair, if I was using the web version, I would use it in Chrome anyway, uh, because it's obviously Gmail, Google, and Google is Chrome as well. So uh, so for, for me, that's more logical. But anyway, for those of you who are thinking about uh, how to get your email into Evernote, then I would recommend the Evernote Web Clipper using Chrome to send email directly to your Evernote because it obviously gives you everything that you need, all the functionality you need. You can get back to the conversation in Gmail as long as you haven't deleted it, it will be there. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this episode. Also, thank you very much for all of you guys who commented on my video last week and pointed out that there is a better way. Sure, I found it, there is a better way, but for us Safari users, there isn't a better way. Okay, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive, productivity and time management course and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything and not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book, you also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.